today we have not just one, not two, but three places to tour, all at the Sunday House Luxury Estates. Emphasis on luxury, I love it here. So let's go check it all out. We are at the Sunday House Luxury Estate. Sunday House is a stunning, newly renovated historical Sunday house in downtown Fredericksburg, just one block from Main Street and three blocks to the Golden Blocks with a large backyard, private hot tubs, there's fire pit. This is a perfect place for groups and it sleeps a total of 10 guests. There are three units on this property actually. The stone house right here behind me, the ranch house, which is a lot smaller, and the cottage, which is even smaller than that. Luxury is an understatement here. So we're gonna be touring all of them today. The first one we'll be walking up into is the stone house right here. There are EV chargers out here, plenty of parking. Uh, the landscaping is just all really well done. So we'll walk through the wooden French doors right here. Come closer. The unique detail about this, that is the coolest bell I have ever seen. Let's walk inside. Walking inside, you immediately notice this is very different and beautiful. I'm loving the limestone walls on the interior, just like the exterior, the terracotta style flooring. It all fits in with the Sunday house aesthetic. Now, if you don't know what a Sunday house is, it was a second dwelling unit on a church property used for accommodations on the weekend. Very popular in 1800s from what I've read, and this is a really cool conversion into an Airbnb today. Very well done. You can tell somebody that knew what they were doing came in here, designed it very well, and they did not leave anything off the table. If we even take a look at the light switches, they are Buster and Punch. If you don't know that brand, they are pretty high end. One single light switch is 85 bucks. And these are really cool light switches and dimmers. So very impressive. I loved seeing that when I walked in. And this first space is the living room. There are two living rooms in the stone house. 1800 square feet living space, two bedrooms. This is the first living room. On my right side, it also has the dining table. It can see eight windows around it. Really cool light fixtures above it. A wooden door on this wall. What do you think's behind that? It's storage, just a small storage space. It looks cool. And then windows all around this as well. I'm loving the huge window sills on the windows from the thickness of the stone walls. Everything in here, I'm really liking. So I'm excited to check the rest of it out. If we walk through this doorway in front of me, we'll enter into the kitchen. Walking through here, the walls, the floor, it's all the same. I'm loving it. And this is the kitchen space and also the stairs on this side that lead up to the upstairs. Small coffee nook right over there. There's the back door that goes out to the communal property area. We'll get to that in a second. Walking this way is the kitchen. This right side has a small walkway with bar seating on the left. Waterfall countertop, very nicely done. Huge microwave below here. Storage with the green cabinets everywhere. Behind me is an oven. Floating shelves, range hood above that. And then over here, my favorite style of fridge, Smeg. I love it. I love when people include that. And then the sink, and then a dishwasher on this right side. More floating shelves above. And that is this area, and then the second living room is back through this door. This living room is larger than the first one. You'll probably be doing most of your hanging out in here because it has the frame TV on this wall. Very beautiful. Lots of seating options in here. These two chairs to my right are cloud-like, very soft and comfortable. This couch in front of me is really deep, very comfortable seating as well. Coffee table in the middle and a couple other seats over on this side uh, against the windows. The interior design all looks really beautiful in here. One wall is stone, but the other ones are the board and batten. We are in the built on addition of the stone house. You can see from the exterior, we are in this room. And if we go over here, this hallway has two doors. The left one is a washer and dryer. The right one is a half bath with your toilet and vanity, which is used for this bottom floor. And then there's a door that leads out to the communal space as well. But let's head upstairs now. Walking up the steps, you'll be led to three doors, two bedrooms and one bathroom. The first one we'll walk into is this one. This one is the main bedroom space. It is very, very spacious in here. King size bed in the middle with huge nightstands on both sides. I'm loving these lights that hang as well. TV and dresser on that wall. 
The stone walls continue up into the upstairs as well. The windows with the huge window sills in here. On this side, we have two closet spaces and a small storage area with a couple uh, shelves underneath this window in the middle. And this is the main bedroom. I love it a lot. And if we walk over here, this door is your bathroom, double vanity, the green tile uh, for the backsplash, huge mirror above that. On the other side, we have your tiled shower and bathtub. Walking into the other bedroom, it's pretty spacious as well. The king size bed here on my right side, then you have a TV and a dresser up against this wall over here. This one's unique though, because these double doors lead out to your rooftop deck. Great views of the communal property. Enjoy the rooftop deck, walk down the steps, and then we're at the back of the stone house. You can see that is where the door from the kitchen was as well. And then this is your private area. There is a hot tub back here just for the stone house. Beautiful built in with the wood surroundings and a couple steps up to it. I really like this look for a hot tub and it's private. If you just want to book the stone house, then this is all private for you. But if not, this is the communal area right here in front of me. There is so much out here to enjoy. It's all fenced in and you can see the other two cottages uh, on this property as well. They're pretty close, so this would be the best area to book all three of them for your friends and family, if you ask me. If we keep walking, there's this huge pavilion area. Fire pit, I can see eight, and then underneath the shelter, there's seating, a TV out here. Uh, you can enjoy movies outside, hang out with everybody outside. This is the perfect fun area. Let's head to the cottage, and then we'll go to the ranch house to finish off. This is the front of the cottage. If you just wanna book it yourself, there is private parking here for you. And let's just walk right in. Cute front porch area. Walk in the front door. Walking inside the cottage, this is about 500 square feet of living space. So definitely a small home made for couples. There's one bed in here. The first thing we enter is the kitchen and dining space. I'm a huge fan of the round dining table in the middle with the pendant light. There's a full length mirror right next to the front door, a shelf right below this window. And then behind this door is a washer and dryer. Right next to that is your kitchen space. It's a small kitchen, same style as the one in the stone house with the green cabinets and the countertop. The tile backsplash is really nice. Floating shelves with your dishes above. There's your coffee supplies, small sink in the middle. My favorite part is the mini Smeg fridge. I've not seen one of these in person. It is a lot nicer than the mini fridges you typically see. So if you're going for style points, get the Smeg mini fridge, it's awesome. And then a small microwave over there on that side. And that is the kitchen and dining space, then we'll enter into the living space, which is really large for a small house. A uh, couch here to my left, a couple chairs, and then the frame TV up against this wall with their brand logo on it when you walk in. That's a cool touch. And lights, just the decor all around in here is nice. Fan above if you need it. And then right behind this is your bedroom. King size bed with nightstands. You got your individual lights on both sides. And then there is a dresser in front of this behind the couch to store your stuff. And then right next to this, we have the sliding wood door. This is beautiful for a barn door with the gold railing above it. And this opens into the bathroom space, guys. This bathroom's incredible. This is one of my favorite bathrooms I have ever seen. This bathtub right up against this wall is where your eye is instantly drawn to. I like the offset gold fixtures on this bathtub. It is a really deep and long, thick bathtub. Very luxurious. If you're not a bath person, they do have a tiled walk-in shower, huge glass door. The tiling in here is beautiful with the very thick grout, pretty unique look. And you have the gold fixtures in here with the waterfall shower head. It's all really nice. Toilet next to that, and then this all faces your vanity area. Lots of countertop space with the sink. That is something that seems to be always missing is where do you set your stuff? There's a lot of options here. You got the sink with the waterfall style countertop all around. Next to this, we have a ton of storage for your stuff. Wooden shelves in the middle and drawers down below and above. So if you're not a fan of this bathroom, I don't know what to tell you. This is top notch for me. If you wanna go out to the communal area, you can slide this door open and walk right out there. Off to the right though, there is your private hot tub area. There's a fire pit here for you specifically, and then your hot tub with these wood steps built all around it. Really beautiful and private, and the string lights above is a nice touch. Let's go check out the ranch house too in this tour. 
Walking inside the ranch house, you can see that the style has been continuous for all three places, but this one just feels a little bit darker and moodier, but you might like that a little bit more. So if you do, then this place is for you. I think what helps with the moodier aesthetic is there's a fireplace up against this wall over here, which the other places don't have. Leather couch right here on this right side and two chairs that face it with the coffee table in the middle. And there is a TV up against this wall to enjoy. Continuing along, we have the kitchen space, very similar to the cottage, if not exact with the size and the functionality of it. Floating shelves on this side with your dishes. There is backslash tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling for this one. Apron front sink in the middle. I like that a lot. And then the Smeg mini fridge over here as well. Right above that is your microwave, and this is the kitchen space. So perfect for a couple days stay. And then right in front of this is the dining table. Round dining table with the four chairs, black this time, and it's tucked up against this corner, and the bedroom is right through this door. Before we get to the bedroom, there is a small hallway with your bathroom and a closet. The closet's really nice. You can open it up, put all your stuff in here, and then the bathroom on this right side. It's pretty tight in here, but I like what they did. This first section is the toilet and your vanity, black bowl for your sink, and black fixtures as compared to gold with the other places. And then through the middle, we have the archway with the glass door that leads to your shower tile everywhere, waterfall shower head. Continuing through the hallway, we enter into the last space, which is your bedroom. King size bed here in the middle, very similar style to the other places with the nightstands and lights on both sides, and this all faces the TV and dresser. Full length mirror on that side, and then there's curtains here that can block these windows, or if you need to get access, there is a door right here that leads to the parking spot outside actually, so you have your own parking for this unit as well. If you're wondering about the hot tub for this unit, there is one through here. You have your own private fenced in area, hot tub around these wooden built in steps, and your own fire pit area. This one's probably the largest private hot tub area out of the three, which is nice. And that is everything with the ranch house. So whether you want to book all three or just one, you can on Airbnb with a link down in the description below. I liked all of them, but I would say I would enjoy it the most if I booked all three with all my friends and family. So thank you, The Sunday House, for having me out. I'll see you guys next week in another Airbnb tour.